Sir Proof a Lot here, and as our note title suggests, today's lesson is on derivatives of trig functions. But before we do an example of that, um, let's say we have f of x over g of x, two functions, let's call that a just for simplicity. The derivative of a will be the derivative of the top function f of x multiplied by the bottom function subtracted from the derivative of the bottom function times the top function all over the bottom function squared. So what I just said there will make much more sense with an example, but I want to make clear that it is important to know how to derive the trig functions just in case you forget it by chance. It's, it's very straightforward to derive. It's good practice for the quotient rule. So with that out of the way, let's start with an example. Tangent of x. Now let's say I want to derive this, but I really have no idea how I would just take the derivative of tangent of x. So what we can do is we can rewrite this as sine of x over cosine of x. So here is our f of x. And here is our g of x. So all we need now is f prime of x, which is the derivative of sine of x, so that would be cosine of x, and g prime of x, the derivative of cosine is negative sine of x. So our formula here just needs to be substituted in with the values we just calculated. So f prime of x, we write cosine of x, times cosine of x. negative sine of x times sine of x all over oh, cosine of x squared. So this is the answer, not the final answer that, the, that you've memorized, but we can do some simplifications and get that answer. So multiply the cosines negative sine x times sine of x is negative sine x squared, but again we have this negative. Distribute that in there, we have plus sine of x squared all over cosine of x squared. The Pythagorean identity tells us that cosine x plus sine x squared is equal to 1. The denominator holds the same. And finally, our last step is to simply recognize that secant is 1 over cosine. But here we have 1 over cosine squared. So we need secant squared of x, which is what you've probably memorized. So again, a different, more complex method to, to get in this. But if you're on a test and you, you simply forgot, you can just divide and conquer this. Alright, uh, let's just do one more example and then I'll leave the other ones as an exercise for the viewer. Let's get a fresh page. Alright, so I'll do, I'll do secant of x. And if we want its derivative, we again have to express this as a quotient. So I say 1 over cosine. And let's let's go through the process again. F of x equals one. F prime of x equals zero. G of x equals cosine of x. G prime of x that equals negative. Oh, what what the heck was that? Not sure how that happened, but just. Just proceed. All right. So the formula is not on the screen anymore, but if you've written it down, you can follow along easier. So we need the derivative of the top, which is zero, times the bottom, which is cosine of x, 
minus the derivative of the bottom, negative sine of x, times the derivative of the top, which is 1, all over cosine of x squared. Um, again, we just have to do some clever, sub, uh, not substitutions, uh, cancellation, so this is going to go away. And this is going to be equal to sine of x over cosine of x squared. Again, uh, negative sine of x times 1 is negative sine of x. We distribute this minus in here, and we get a positive sine of x. So again, this is a correct answer to the derivative of secant of x. We're just going to express it the way that your book probably shows you. So we're going to break up our refraction. Sine of x over cosine of x times 1 over cosine of x. Again, if you multiply this out, you will get exactly this. These are equivalent statements. And then we can finally get the answer that we probably memorized by now as tangent of x times secant of x. So, again, I think it's, first of all, it's good practice on the quotient rule. And it's, it's nice to see that the answer that they show us hold. So, you can practice this on cosecant if you want. Cosecant equals 1 over sine of x. So again, just identify your f of x, your g of x, take the derivatives of them, and substitute them into the formula. So I will see you on the next video.